Hello, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today is the U.S. Libyan ambassador gets killed today by a, a grenade and President Obama has a Jimmy Carter moment. Oh, and the iPhone 5 by Apple finally gets announced. So for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines. <laughs> it's the most vocal member of Monty's family. The I know what that member. is. This is Herbie Daddy. See, Herbie Daddy is very lucky because when Herbie's children no longer do this, Monty destroys them. I know. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, actually, last night it was all over for the Republicans. But, oh, what did you say, Herbie Daddy? Uh, the Republican Party was given its walking papers by its members last night. I mean, these are the people though, that basically contribute all the money, are fed up with what's going on with the Republican Party leadership, and they simply flat out said, I mean, we're talking a whole list of their major figures, said if, if Mitt Romney doesn't beat Barack Obama, then they're just going to, they're just going to split this party into the people that actually want to win the presidency versus the people that are just trying to hold on their jobs to make money. And uh, Romney got taken to the woodshed really big time, and then Obama made one gaffe after another. Okay, what did he, oh, Obama basically insulted the Prime Minister of Israel. Again. Again. Then Obama apologized for the people taking, you know, uh, 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 destroying our embassies, and then Oh, there's no truth to the rumor that the President of the United States was on a tabletop dancing happy days or here again talking to Ahmadinejad and what, oh, and uh, about that he basically finished off Israel and he finished off all the Christians and then Ahmadinejad, oh, Ahmadinejad said, uh, they, he said, Obama baby, he said they just killed four people in the embassy and then the President said, oh crap. Mm -hmm. And this morning, the president has done nothing but try to unapologize for his apology, saying, well, it was misunderstandings, they didn't have permission to do this, and it never happened. But unlike Jimmy Carter, on a Jimmy Carter moment, he only had the mainstream press that didn't like him to report what went on. Our president has Twitter, he has Facebook. I know, there's no YouTube. hiding. What, what he did, he got caught at, and he can't backtrack what was done. Even though they actually deleted all of the things that they actually had said from all the accounts, but the problem is people save um, everything like that is saved, and the president hasn't got that idea yet. <laughs> and racial bias fuels Obama foes. Oh yeah, it's basically the reason why Obama is 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 in any trouble whatsoever is because the people that aren't voting for him are racist. They just don't know they're racist. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? If you don't vote for the president, you're a racist. But that means that the 60% of the Democrats that aren't going to vote for Obama this time must all be racist, according to Obama's people. Ah, and we China trade data confirms outlook worsening. Uh, here's Harvey Daddy says, but if market's going up, uh, markets go down on bad data like that. Not under Obama, they don't because, oh, you don't mean that lies are being given to the markets? You mean the people who are in the commodities market? Yeah, they, it seems the American people think that they're being fed a bunch of BS uh, to get them to buy stock and that the, the market's not really going up. It's called an inversion program, when the market is going down, they flip the switch and the market looks like it's going up. Mm -hmm. see, Herbie Daddy is really smart. See, if you can see, he's gray with age. Ooh. It's called wisdom, right? Yeah. And Judge says Schwarzenegger didn't break the California law. He has a right to pardon anybody for any reason. They said, well, he pardoned this person because uh, this person is the son of a friend. Well, he pardoned the person because the person that was in jail for 17 years for the murder had nothing to do with it. He, well, that's a good reason to be pardoned. He had nothing to do with the murder. What they did, the guy, okay, they couldn't prove the other person did the murder, so they just charged everybody. Oh. They just, you know, it's just like, okay, uh, well, uh, we don't like you. We can't prove who did it. So we're just going to charge you all with murder and then split the sentence up among five people. And Monta Montana judge strikes down state execution method. Well, because they said it's, it's humane because they know they're being killed. Oh. And then they pointed out the fact, 
So did the people that this guy killed knew they were being killed. But that doesn't make any difference because he wouldn't have done it if these people hadn't had money. If they hadn't have been part of the 1% of which they weren't because they were working class people and on welfare, he wouldn't have had to kill them. So mm -hmm. they were responsible for their own deaths, so he should not be required to be killed because of what they did. Remember, right. Democrats don't think that any criminal is responsible for their crimes and that the people that should be in jail are the people that provide jobs, not the people that do the crimes. And Mexico detains man accused in fast and furious killing. Oh, I just got another thing from Herbie Daddy. He said what they did was just went out and arrested somebody to try to get the heat off of Obama. Boy, Herbie Daddy is smart. Ooh. And Romney pounces on disappointing job news. And that basically, and Obama's, Obama's uh, poll numbers went up. Okay, this is one that basically uh, most of the people are in total disbelief. How a person's poll number, as, the, as the, the worse the economy gets, the more Obama poll numbers go up. Mm -hmm. they, he's going to give you, they're promising to give you four more years of the same, but not going to give you any jobs. Mm -hmm. Four more years, but no jobs, which is... Unbelievable. We're going to create a thousand, one million manufacturing jobs. They lost 12 million. Mm -hmm. But they're going to create one million. We're going to create new green jobs, but aren't that part of the manufacturing jobs? Well, we're still going to create them. One million jobs is all he's promising to create in the private sector. Everything else is going to be public sector jobs again. And Chicago teachers to strike after talks fell. You know, they're in the third day of strike, and they're really. I mean, they are, okay, Obama basically is on their side. They know he's on their side because they contribute lots of money. They only want a 35% page increase. They want the teachers that have been laid off all rehired with full restitution. They want a shorter work day. They don't want to have to be responsible for the bad test scores that are students. And they want more teachers hired because the reason why we have the worst school system in the United States, don't even have teachers. We, we don't have enough teachers or enough money being spent on the system. They, here, and, oh, oh, Herbie Daddy once again said, this, this Chicago is broke, Illinois is broke, they don't have any money, but if Obama wins, they're going to get all the money they want. Oh, he says, not a chance in hell, mm -hmm. because you can't give me what they, the Congress won't approve it. And at least 80 dead in China quakes and rescue efforts hampered. Yeah, because the, the whole country is built on a house of cards. They have no earthquake standards in China. The country has been an earthquake place since the dawn of time, and they build things out of sticks and mud. And top Arizona court rules tattooing is protected speech. Yeah. What was this? Okay. Why Demo is that okay. even in the court? There isn't anything that's not protected speech to the Democratic Party unless you talk about a Muslim and that's not protected speech. But what does this have to do with tattooing? Because they basically, uh, somebody put, you know, uh, uh, peeing on the American flag on a, at a tattoo and they went to court. And they said, no, you're protected, to, to, you know, to, to take a leak on the American flag. But you're not supposed to defile the American flag. That doesn't make any difference. The courts, the left-wing courts have always stood by defiling the American flag. And Japan revises down the GDP growth figures. And the stock market went up again. And Chicago braces for it, the first teacher strike in a generation. I thought they already have the strike. Yeah, they have it, but they don't have any. Okay, what it is is, oh, Herbie Daddy may be out more often. Herbie Daddy says, when everything is going crappy for the man in the White House, you just keep throwing the same news out to try to hide the fact that there's a problem. It's uh -huh. also illegal for them to strike if anybody bothered to notice that fact. Ooh. And a low-cost spy plane takes off as military budgets squeeze. Yeah, basically the, what it is, it's a toy plane. They go out and buy it over. Actually, they're not going to be able to do it much longer because uh, Radio Shack is going under. But they go to Radio Shack or Michaels and buy a toy plane, put a camera on it, and that's the new spy plane. Oh, that's bad. That's pathetic, isn't that's it? That's pathetic. Yeah. And a Monty bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. That he who lives by new media also dies by new media.